Hello friends, welcome to next tutorial in ChatGPT RPS series. In today's blog, we'll write code to read text from web pages. We'll identify URLs which include links to data files, and then after we are trying to download these files from web pages. Below in video description, you will find links to GitHub source code and YouTube playlists. So let's browse to our GitHub RPA repository. In the README file, if you're looking to other web scrapping code, you'll find links to a lot of different web scrapping examples, which perform variety of different tasks. In this video today, we'll focus writing code to download data files like CSV or downloading Excel or PDFs from web pages. So let's open our Jupyter Notebook here. Now before we even begin, I want to clarify very clearly that intended functionality of this code is not achieved. This code does not work. If you're watching this video thinking that this is another sensational blog that will teach you how to hack government website and turn you a hacker overnight, I want to tell you that you will be very disappointed. Instead, I'll be talking about the pitfalls of using such code for hacking purpose. I want to actually discourage you from attempt, you know, attempting to hack, hack websites using you know, code like this. It could result in illegal consequences. But if you're interested in ethical hacking, hacking that's topic for another day. And you know, trust me, I make a living of writing hackers code. Uh, but you know, I won't be, if I write the hackers code, I won't be making videos on this topic. Anyway, so purpose of this today's tutorial is to teach you how to download content from the web pages. We are going to write generic functions and we'll try to retrieve URL and try to download it. Again, this course does not work because you know, mostly most of the website nowadays, they are very, very secure and they want you to obtain appropriate API, code, uh, API keys to download such content because you know, those are copyright content and that's very fair from the, uh, the people who generate you know, this, kind of, uh, this kind of data files. So you know, please, you are expected to obtain the appropriate API keys and authentication before you try to download uh, download. But we are going to test our code anyway. So let's go install this beautiful soup for library here. Pip install beautiful soup for. You will also find original chat GPT generated code here. So if you query chat GPT that write code to download files from website, it's going to generate something like this. So obviously part of this does not work. What we are going to do, we will take some of part of this code and we are trying to customize this uh, code for our purpose and make use of it. So let's start with uh, opening a new notebook here. So let's start with importing OS module here and we are going to list the content of current directory, list directory, downloads. As you can see, there are only PNG files which we downloaded in last video. All right, let's clear the output and now uh, this is the time you should install that beautiful soap for library. I already have this installed, so I'm not going to run this command again. But in case if you don't, please run pip install beautiful soap for. Now let's import uh, import request and we need request module because we need to make an HTTP request to the URL. So that's the reason we are importing request. Obviously we need beautiful soup and we are also going to import OS one more time. All right, now let's go make that request. So here first to define the URLs you, are, um, you want to try to download the data from. So for example, this is the Tesla URL. I'm a very fond of Tesla. Um, and I, this is like if you go to their page, page, their investor relation page, and you will see link to their um, their quarterly report, their financial statements like balance sheet, cash flow statement like this. So this this website, this particular page has a lot of content to you know um, link to the PDF and CSVs. But obviously, when you try to hack it, you will see it's not going to work. Uh, there are other links like, for example, SEC filing. Uh, or investor, you know, similarly, if you go to apple.com and try to download their balance sheet from their website, we'll try these URLs one by one. Uh, but that's not the point here. Point here, like, okay, let's go make a request to this particular URL. So we are going to say request.get and we'll pass this particular URL uh, to the request.get function here. Whatever the data comes out, the response, we are going to read that response to our, we are pass this to our beautiful soap class. And here, beautiful soup class, it accepts two parameters here, response.content. And because the because the web page uh, is coming as an HTML format, so we need to pass it an HTML.parser. All right, as you can see, it finished pretty good. And now we have the soup object. Now we are going, we want to get the text from the soup. So all you need to do is soup.getText. And if you run this, let's print the text. And you can see, you know, whatever the content it was displayed on the web page, and it, it does a fairly very good, decent job here. As you can see, it has a lot of different, you know, you have to read that entire text file here, which is not possible in the Jupyter Notebook. But you know, in trust me, it, it, it does a fairly good job and it's able to download all the text from the web page. Now let's import the regular expression package. And the reason we are trying, we are, you know, we imported that regular expression because in this text, we want to find all the URLs. So our concern is we are not reading everything. We are reading only those HTML anchor tags, which include some kind of URL. So let's go URLs, re.findall, and we are going to pass that reject string. As you can see, it came out blank. 
so purpose of this code again this is not like you know uh, working as expected so let's do one thing this another good thing is like beautiful soup uh, library had a lot of different packages so instead of like you know doing the regex operations let's do find all and let's try find all the anchor tags so now let's go print the links here as you can see this does uh, you know work a lot of lot better than using the you know, url um, regular expression method here so as you can see there are a lot of different um, anchor tags it has been downloaded and it tells you all the links so it goes to the web page and finds out like you know wherever it finds that anchor tags and it displays those here now we have got the links so what we need to do uh, first we'll change the directory so that you know we whatever the content we download we want to download inside the downloads directory so we're just doing the csdi here now let's write a generic function download function and it accepts two parameters url and the file name so whatever url whatever the text you get is going to you know write that text into file so i'm just doing a with open that means i'm writing creating a new file in a write binary mode and whatever the data come from the request object i will just write it simply write it back to that uh, response uh, to that file what we just opened once you see that in action it will make again more make more sense to you but this is like you know nothing is very generic code here all right let's define this function so again it takes two parameters url and the file name whatever url is passed it makes http request get the data and whatever data comes it writes that inside that file name what you just passed okay now we have got the links so let's go create a loop throughout that link and then what we will do inside for each link we'll call this function once so for for example for each a href tag so let's go run this one more time so it will make so inside that a href that hyper reference inside each anchor tab uh, anchor tag html tag there's a href um, hyper reference out there and we want to grab that part so because href part hyper reference has part uh, part has the actual link so then we want to do if href has csv or pdf or jpeg then we want to store that everything else is a garbage we are not interested in that unless you want to right and then simply what we want to do we'll create a relative path and we'll call that function one at a time um again it looks like a lot of code but it's very intuitive very simple you know once you run this and it will make a lot more sense to you all right now let's go download that file so we'll just say download file and pass that url and all url because only the url we are you know extracting here which contains csv pdf jpeg or png and then simply pass that one url with file name at a time let's run this so again depending on the web page your internet speed uh, it may take few seconds for me let's see i think it, it runs pretty fast here all right it's, it took uh, almost 13 seconds now the reason as you can see um, now if oh, you see it has produced a lot of pdf files here it also downloaded a lot of csv files but they keep on saying it does not work because once you open that you know one of the pdf file you will see something like this so maybe you try it on your own maybe i'm behind a fireway for you know firewall or something is else is happening on my with my network connection but you know i've tried it with several other websites and i'm seeing the similar results and i think that this is intentional the tesla website or sec filing or apple filing they do recognize that you are running some code some python code and making http request and they are blocking it intentionally if you go to their website and try to download it you will be able to download one pdf at a time but uh, this is a very genuine uh, uh, you know from their part try this code if you have any question please you know open an issue at github uh, repository and I'll, I'll be happy to answer there thank you for watching